Hi everybody, I'm Mohammed and I'm very happy for finally being able to upload my very first video on teaching fluid mechanics with MATLAB. In this video, what I'm trying to do is to give you some quick summary about the potential flows, I mean what they are and why they are useful and important. So if you are familiar with the topic, feel free to skip the first 5 or 6 minutes of this video. But after that, I will write a MATLAB code to visualize the basic potential flows and in the meantime, I will give you some explanations about all the MATLAB commands that I will use to give you some intuitions about the MATLAB codes. So I hope this video um, helps you and motivates you to try to write your own codes. Uh, so little by little and step by step, you will end up kind of proficient user who is who is able to analyze fellow fields using MATLAB or any other software. Uh, by the way, if you found this video helpful, please do not forget to share and subscribe and give me some feedbacks uh, by leaving a comment or even shooting me an email because I enjoy receiving them. They can help me to improve the quality of my videos and they are kind of source of motivation for me to um, upload more of these for you. Okay, in analyzing flows, as you may know, uh, we need to satisfy some uh, different equations and the most important equation that needs to be satisfied is called mass conservation and you know when you are dealing with a multi-dimensional flow say a two-dimensional one for example uh, you need to write and solve mass conservation in both x and y direction and this will take you a lot of time so to address this problem uh, scientists came up with a function an arbitrary function which is called a uh, testing function and its definition is in the picture by defining this uh, they manage to reduce the calculation time and cost significantly i mean when you write the mass conservation based on psi or the string function you get this equation and by solving this interestingly the mass conservation would be satisfied in both directions i mean you only need to solve one equation rather than two. Another beauty of the string function is that lines with constant size are in fact the string lines. But uh, I'm not going through more details, uh, but I will um, give you a link to the book that all of my explanations are derived from. So those of you who are interested to find out about the mathematics behind all this stuff can and take it pay, take a look at that that book okay another arbitrary function which can come in handy for us in our analysis is called uh, the velocity potential function hence the definition is in the picture and um, you know um, it turns the velocity which has a vector nature into a scalar function and if you look at it closely, you will notice that it is, in fact, the gradient of phi's uh, velocity. And from the incompressible flow, we have this equation. Okay, by combining this equation with this one, we arrive at this equation, which has a Laplacian form and has a lot of advantages for us, but I'm not going into it uh, because uh, I will just and talk about it into a, in a later video but uh, you know to use the qualities of this equation we need to define some basic uh, potential flows and the most basic one is uniform flow and its lines are in the picture uh, as, as you may, as you see um, the lines with constant phi are always perpendicular to the uh, string function lines by the way, all the basic uh, potential functions that I will simulate in this in this um, tutorial is are here, and their function is here. You know, uniform flow, source and sink, vortex, and doublet. Okay, I'm going to the MATLAB. Uh, I will write these two equals to make sure that no variable is remained from my previous calculations in the MATLAB memory. You know, I will try to write a general and a kind of interactive code. I know it's basic, um, 
so the code is not limited to one specific number uh, it receives some data from the user and based on the data it will decide uh, how to simulate the flow so I will do so first I will ask the user to specify what kind of flow it needs to be simulated by using the input command But remember that since we want uh, the input to be an S-string, we should uh, specify it in the code for MATLAB. So I added this S at the end for this reason. And then I will generate my X and Y values by first uh, dividing the X uh, coordinate, the X axis some sections by using line space command you know by using this command I will divide distance between this point and this point into 50 equal sections and I will do the same for my y-axis And then I will generate my mesh uh, using mesh grid command. And for those of you who are not familiar with mesh grid, uh, I have some quick uh, explanation. Okay, first I will write the code mesh grid. What the mesh grid does for us is in fact it gets uh, some x values from this line some values from this line to generate some points which gonna be used later in the late in the following lines to plug into the equations in fact uh, the points um, where the lines are coincided which are with each other are in fact the points that are generated by the mesh grid okay uh, you know it but one thing which uh, sh one should notice is that if you take a look at this table, you will realize that uh, all the equations are defined in cylindrical coordinate. So we need to um, convert the Cartesian coordinate, which is defined here, into a cylindrical one. And it is an important part of my uh, tutorial. Okay, first I will define a radial value by using this equation. Theta or the angle by using this command. Oh, sorry, there's a mistake here. Um, I need to first define y and then x. See, this function is the most tricky part of my uh, code. Uh, for those of you uh, who are good at math, they, they will definitely know, know that, uh, that when we want to convert an amount into an angle by using arctangent, some of the values may be lost due to the fact that the tangents and the second and fourth coordinate for four re fourth region of co uh, coordinate system are the same so to avoid loss of any information we need to use uh, this uh, command so MATLAB will automatically detect uh, the correct value of the data but for further explanation if you uh, need more of this uh, you, you can uh, check it and search it in uh, to Google by the way, after defining the cylindrical for uh, cylindrical uh, coordinate, 
I will decide based on user's input which equation needs to be solved. So in case that the user, uh, for example, inserts sync or source, these lines gonna be taken to account by a MATLAB. Uh, first, I need to ask the user to define the strength of the sink or source. Then, by using the function, the stream function, this table, uh, sci for sync or source is uh, m multiplied by theta and divided by 2 pi. And uh, you know, I have a kind of obsession with using various uh, parentheses I mean I will use them as much as possible to avoid any mistake I know MATLAB uh, does the mathematical stuff in a predefined order but I will def I will always use these parentheses they are quite helpful to me by the way using contour F uh, I will plot the uh, contour for constant size Lines, size lines okay remember that uh, so remember that uh, the contour F gets its X value X and Y values from the mesh grid and uh, uses and um, plus the psi function based on the values which are defined based on R and data and since I want to have uh, both psi function and uh, phi function uh, plots control lines in the same page, I will use the hold on and then uh, plot the constant phi lines. But remember, here we have uh, two ways to uh, write the codes for con uh, for potential function. One of which is easy peasy, you just need to uh, write this code here, but since here I'm trying to familiarize you with some other codes, I will use another tricky way, uh, which is mostly used and it is more useful for uh, visualizing the velocity vectors, but here I will use the quality of uh, the fact that the phi functions are per perpendicular to the psi function to plot the contour in another way. I mean, I will use, uh, I will first uh, take the derivative of the psi lines and then use quiver function to plot And you know, you shouldn't forget using these semicolons because without them, uh, the command window gonna be turned into a total mess after running any code. Okay, by running the code, I will define the flow time, for example, sync, and define the strength, and I will get this control. As you, uh, as it can be easily noticed, the, uh, the velocity is totally constant between the lines between the psi constant lines and if we zoom in sorry. 
we see that and these vectors are phi constant lines and they are perpendicular to the uh, to the psi function okay by the way uh, in order to save you time uh, I've done the same uh, procedure for doublet vertex and a source and sink so by running this code I will have all of them together uh, see for example if you want to see what the lines in vertex are like look like if we write here vertex and define a string for example if we add one and then MATLAB will create this for us as you can see here everything is a bit different and by using doublet And you know, uh, doublet is in fact a pair of uh, sorts and sync which are put together in an inf uh, put together closely. So uh, for defining a doublet, you need two inputs. That's the reason why I defined here two lines: one for the distance between source and sync, and then another is for the strength. So I sh I need to. Um, Put, their, uh, put them close together so I add this 0 0.1 for the distance and for the string for example some, some high value we get this and if I zoom in uh, if I zoom in you see that the uh, velocity I mean the follow gets out of the source and makes its way to the sink okay and the last line in my code is here as I said the, I wanted the, be the code to be general so in case that the user adds any other word rather than source sink vertex or doublet it gets a beep, vo beep sound and a wrong input uh, this, and it will display that the input is wrong. For example, here, get this. Okay. Uh, okay, guys, that was the, my very first my first video, and I hope you enjoyed it. I will um, leave the code for you to play, play around with it and get some new results. And if you have any question, um, feel free to leave me a comment. And do not forget to share and subscribe. Okay, guys, goodbye.